It's long been called moo juice, but a lot of the milk that we're seeing in stores has absolutely nothing to do with cows. Carrie Glassman is a contributor to Women's Health Magazine, and she's here to give us a tour of the ever-expanding milk aisle. Carrie, good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Let's start with the basic, the original, the moo juice, cow's milk. What are the basic nutritional numbers on this one? So with milk, we're going to have about, depends if you're going from skim to whole milk. Okay. We're going to have, so from zero to eight grams of fat, from about 80 to 150 calories, and 30% of your calcium needs, which is really why so many people need to get their milk in. And all of these milk will have calcium. Okay. So they're going to be fortified, or you know, some of them will have it naturally, but it's so important to get our calcium in. We know because calcium is not only good for bone health, but calcium also may help prevent cancers, help reduce the risk of high blood pressure, and also help control weight when on a calorie-restricted diet. Would you say, as a nutritionist, that the original is the best? No, there are not many options out there. And that's what I'm actually going to show you, that no matter what dietary preferences you have or what your taste buds are like, mm -hmm. there is a milk for you. All right, a lot of people drink soy milk. Is it more fattening? And what is the difference nutrition-wise between soy milk and cow's milk? Well, depending upon if it's flavored or sweetened, the nutrition facts will vary. However, the generic sort of the plain, unsweetened variety will be similar to low-fat milk with 1.5 grams of fat and about 104 calories and about 20% of your calcium needs. 50 million Americans are lactose intolerant, so it's a great option for yeah. those people. And the research on soy varies quite a bit. However, there is evidence that 25 grams of soy protein may help lower cholesterol. So again, a good op option for those lactose intolerant people. All right, but 1% of the population is allergic to soy milk. So is rice milk a good alternative for them? Rice milk is an excellent option for them. About 113 calories and two grams of fat. This is all for a cup, by the way and you're going to get about 28% of your calcium needs. There is less protein, there's only about a gram of protein mm -hmm. in there, but it is still fortified with vitamins A and D like many of these other milk options. So again, a good option for those people that can't tolerate milk or soy. I've never tasted rice milk. I know I can, but I it's, don't know if it, I want to. It's, it's plain, try it. It's plain? All right. It tastes, it's kind of neutral, it's my, it has a mild taste. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, I kind of like it. It has a nice natural sweet taste. Yeah, okay, And I that's the like plain it. variety, actually. All right, almond milk, now. Do you say we can make this ourselves at home? You can actually make any of these milks at home, aside from the well, cow's milk, Well, you can milk the cow, we <laughs> know that. Aside from the cow's milk, you can make them at home. Soak the nuts, grind them, add water, and you're making it at home. It's actually huh. the least caloric of all of these milks. I would never have guessed that, because nuts are so fattening. Exactly, 40 calories, and then you're also gonna get 50% of your vitamin E needs, which is another reason I happen to love almond milk. This sounds like a winner. I mean, it tastes, tastes delicious with cereal. It's so it's great. thick looking, though. It tastes good, and that's the plain variety as well. It tastes like almonds. Right. It tastes exactly so like almonds. So if you almonds. like nuts, it's yeah. a great option. All right, let's go over here to hemp milk. This is like as in from the hemp seed? <laughs> it's a distant relative <laughs> to the hemp seed, and I okay. promise you can drink it with baby on board and you'll still be able to report okay. the news after. <laughs> and what I like about hemp is there are people out there that are allergic to tree nuts, soy, and milk. So again, it's another great option. And some brands have up to that 30% of calcium in it. There's also six grams of fat, but it comes from good fats from omega-3s, which you're going to find in salmon and walnuts. So if you don't get a lot of salmon or walnuts in your diet, it's a great way to get your omega-3s in. Look at a lot of calcium, so that's good. Exactly, and because it's fortified as well. All right, this one looks less than appetizing. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, but since Try I've tried one. them all, Mm. No, you don't like that one. Mm. But that's also something you can throw into a shake. Mm -hmm. You could also Maybe throw then. in with cereal. Disguise it. Exactly. There's, mm. there's different ways fan. to get this in. Okay. I am a fan of chocolate milk. <laughs> I'm a fan of chocolate and milk, And this too. is the only way that I can get my daughter to drink milk. Is that bad? No, that is actually exactly what I was going to say. For oh. those kids out there that refuse milk, milk is so filled, obviously, with calcium and protein that it is a great option for those kids. It can't be a free-for-all because it does have two times the amount of sugar, sugar okay. as regular milk, but it still has all the protein all the calcium, so it's a great dessert for some kids, or it's, again, an option for kids that don't have it, and the cocoa actually adds antioxidants. So you're even adding a little extra nutritional mm. value there. All right, then this one I will <laughs> keep. Yeah, Thank that you. one we should gulp down. <laughs> a lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.